Welcome to the short online tutorial on critical reflection delivered to you by the Ask Academic Skills Service. We're going to be looking at what is a critical reflection and considering some strategies to help you to write a critical reflection. A critical reflection is the process of reviewing a past event or events from an analytical perspective. By doing so, we can reflect on our actions, considering what worked well and what didn't. We can then learn from our reflection by making appropriate changes to develop ourselves further going forward. Here is a table which looks at the key differences between a reflection and a critical reflection. On the left hand side we can see the typical ingredients which make up an informal reflection, something which we might carry out on a daily basis in conversation with our friends. The language may be more colloquial, it may also be more descriptive because we're simply retelling something that's happened in the past. It might also be brief as it's a simple looking back to a past event. On the right hand side we see the makeup of a critical reflection. Whilst it's personal, it still must be written using academic style. The description is limited as we want to place more emphasis on evaluation. It must also follow a coherent structure and is the process of looking back in order to help with future personal development. You might also find our video on critical thinking helpful too. Here is a cycle of reflection by Gibbs. Let's start from the top left hand corner where you're simply describing what happened. Stage 2 is where you're thinking about the feelings you felt during the situation. Stage 3 you're going into the realm of analysis, what was good and bad about the particular experience. We're taking this further in stage 4 of your analysis. What sense can you make of the situation? As you begin to conclude, consider what else you could have done. And in stage 6 you're building your action plan. What will you do next time? It's important to note that your tutor may expect you to use a different model of reflection in your assignment, so it's important to double check this. Here are some strategies to help you to write a critical reflection. Because it's personal, you can usually use I. When writing about your experience relating to stages 2 to 6 of the Gibbs Reflective Cycle, ask yourself the question, why? This will help you to move away from description and into the realm of analysis. Allocate time to review your work to make sure you have fulfilled all sections of the reflective model and remember that the structure of your critical reflection should highlight what you have learnt and how you will make productive changes in the future. In summary, a critical reflection contains more of your own personal feelings and experiences in comparison to a typical university essay but it's still written using academic style. The process of writing a critical reflection is one designed to encourage you to learn from past experiences so that you can make a productive action plan going forward. And if you're a Brunel student, you can also book an appointment to discuss this further with an Ask Advisor by booking a slot online and attending our workshops. For further information, check out the Ask website, Blackboard section and have a look at our interactive resources. You can also contact us at ask.brunel.ac.uk and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.